Dear viewers, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to see equal delivery test on this injection pump. We are going to see if all the cylinders are providing equal amount of fuel. If the amount of fuel that is being injected into the cylinder is not uniform, that will lead to unbalanced engine running. That will cause unwanted vibration on the engine, and that will cause damage to the mechanical parts of the engine. So we are going to see how to check equal delivery. Well, we are doing the test on this six-cylinder inline injection pump. We are going to see the amount of fuel that is being delivered here. This is the main motor switch. This is a fuel supply switch. This is our tachometer that will measure the RPM. This one is a timer for fuel delivery to the cylinders. The number of shots will be adjusted here. You can adjust the number of shots. And RPM will be increased and reduced. This, is, this will increase RPM and this is reduce RPM. This is a fuel supply. So let's begin and see Let's make it number of fuels to be 1,000. Now, I have adjusted the injection pump machine so that it will inject 1,000 times into the cylinders. Please note that this test this should be made on. based on the specification recommended by the injection pump manufacturer. For example, the injection pump might recommend you to make the equal delivery test with the injection pump being driven at 1100 rpm, fuel delivery rack to be at 10.2 mm, number of stroke, number of shots into the cylinder 1000, and then the injection pump manufacturer will tell you the amount of fuel that is to be injected with this rpm, with this rack position, and with this number of shots. And then the specification will also include what will be the allowable variation between the injected values of the different cylinders. But because this is simply a demonstration, we are doing it with arbitrary number. For example, we are making it with 400 RPM, 1000 number of shots, and fuel rack position at either. But if you are making the perfect injection pump test, remember that the specification has to be followed.
Now let's have a look at the result. This is the obtained result of the equal delivery test. See, almost there is some variation visible here. Here we have been a little greater, low. even lower less well this clearly indicates that the equal delivery test is successfully conducted and there is large variation among the volume of the, the fuel that we obtained this indicates that the injection pump requires adjustment well that could be done by opening this cover and adjusting control sleeve. So control pinion position in relation to the control sleeve. Assuming that the delivery valves are all the same. Now if you install this injection pump on a diesel engine, we can see that there is variation in the delivery volume. This will cause unwanted vibration on the engine. So power will be unbalanced between the cylinders. Cylinders with larger volume of fuel will be powerful. Cylinders with small amount of fuel injection will become less powered. This will cause unbalanced power distribution leading to excessive vibration. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. Please stay tuned for more videos of this kind.